Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I want to show you an extension in Firefox that makes developing for an app that has users or sessions much easier. So the name of the extension is called Firefox Multi-Account Containers, and I'm gonna put a link to this in the description below. But basically, this allows you to isolate multiple sessions in the same browser. So instead of having to you know, sign in with one user, test some things out, and then sign out, and then sign in with the other user, you can actually be signed in as multiple users at the same time while you're testing your app and this will actually save you a ton of time so an example would be like you're creating an admin user and then you want to give privileges to some other user and you want to check and make sure that other users are getting those privileges without logging out of the, the admin user so that's kind of what i'm going to show you in this video i'm going to have like an admin user and regular users and we'll see how it works so of course you would install the extension in firefox and then I have a Django app set up already. What I need to do first is create a super user though. So python manage.py and then create super user. And I forgot to migrate, so I'll migrate first. And then I'll create that super user. So I'll use Anthony as this one. And then password one, that's the password, and there we go. Okay, so I'll start the app, and it's going to be running here. So I have the app here, and if I go to slash admin, I have a screen where I can log in. But to use this extension, the first thing I need to do is create a container for different sessions that I'll be using. So right now I have two. I have personal and work. So those are pretty obvious where they are. But what I want to do is I want to create a new one for development. So I'll create this one and I'll call this dev01. And I'll create two more. And these are gonna represent my testing containers. So I'm not gonna use work or personal because I already have stuff in those. So dev03, and then to activate it, you just long press. So you click the new tab button, but you hold until it asks you what container you wanna use. So I click hold it, and I'll say dev1. So I'll close out this one. I'll just take the link, and I'll put it here. So I'm in dev1 now, and I'll log in as the user that I just created. So I'm logged in as Anthony, which is the admin user. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a couple of users. So I'm going to say this user is going to be pretty printed. And I'll use pretty much the same password. And it doesn't wanna let me, so I think password 11 is a little better. Let's see. No, so I'll just use a, a more secure password then. There we go. So I have this user pretty printed that has been added. So normally when I'm testing a site, what I would do is when I wanna test this user, I log out here, log in again, and then try to log in. And you see it's not letting me log in because I'm not a staff account. So then I'd be like, okay, I need to log back in and put in the wrong password. Log back in. And I would go to users, and then I would do something like um, set as staff. Save, and then I would log out and try it again. But instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new container. So I'll go to dev02, and then I'll go to the admin dashboard, and on this one, I'll log in as pretty printed. So now it lets me log in. Of course, I can't do anything because I didn't put any permissions on it, but I can log in as a staff user now. And then if I go back here, I'm still logged in as Anthony. So if I go to users and I go to pretty print it, I take away the staff status and save here. Then I go back to this tab and I just try refreshing. It's gonna tell me that I'm no longer authorized to access this page. And then of course, if I go back here and set staff again, save, and then log in as pretty printed again. I can now log in. So if I create one more user, 
just to demonstrate the third container. Uh, let's just call this third user. Save. Still logged in as Anthony here. Still logged in as pretty printed here. Long press. I'll go to my third container. And I'll go to admin. Third user, of course, isn't a staff member, so I won't be able to log in. So if I go back here to users, third user, set third user to staff, save, and then try logging in again. We see that it lets me in. So I have three different tabs open with three different sessions, and they're not interfering with each other. And as you can see, this can save a ton of time over you know, logging in as admin, logging out, logging in as new user and checking it, and then logging back out, going back to admin to make sure everything is okay. So if you have multiple users for your app or, or if your app is just designed to have multiple users and you need to test more than one user at a time, this extension is really helpful if you use Firefox. So I'll put the link to it in the description below if you wanna check it out. I hope this helps you if you do use Firefox because it definitely helps me. And if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.